Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on the Honeywell uh, Fresh Troll model PA404A. Um, this is the additive model. This will be the, probably the, the uh, typical one you'll find on a, um, a residential steam boiler. Um, I installed a boiler the other day in my house and I wanted to figure out how to set this thing. Um, so I went on YouTube and I could not find anything on YouTube about this. Uh, and and I, you know, I went on the web and I eventually found some documentation and I figured it out myself. Now keep in mind I am not a boiler guy. Um, I had a boiler guy help me, a friend of mine, uh, install the boiler. Um, but I am an electrical tech and, and you know, uh, this is a contact with the, you know, in the series circuit. So it's, it's not all that hard to figure out. Um, this is what it looks like. You have your PSI reading on there. Um, this is your set screw over here. When you open it up. You have your uh, two screws that your your uh, series circuit would, would pass through from your 24 volt transformer. Um, this is what's called your differential wheel. So how this basically works is when your boiler reaches a certain PSI, this uh, contact will cut out and turn the boiler off. And when the pressure drops, the contacts will close and turn the boiler back on. Um, a typical residential boiler, from what I read, should operate at around two to three psi. Um, I found that with this thing set at one and a half psi, my boiler still made it up to four psi, um, and I think that's okay. Uh, what I believe is that your boiler, when, when I say it should operate at two or three. Uh, PSI that's at the furthest radiator in the system so um, I'm gonna leave it alone it's, it's working fine so how this works is um, they recommend keeping this at about 0.5 uh, and setting the differential at about one or two and what that means is that uh, you, you would it would add these two that's why it's called an additive unit so the 0.5 plus the one on the wheel that gives you 1.5 PSI so 1.5 psi, um, this thing would open up and kill the boiler. And when it drops down, back down to 0.5 psi, contacts would close back in and the boiler would fire back up. Um, like I said, at this setting, my boiler still made it up to almost 4 psi. But I bet you if I put a gauge at the furthest radiator, it probably would read you know, one and a half or, or two PSI. Everything's working great, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, if you guys, if anyone out there knows better than me, uh, you know, feel free to, to put some comments uh, down below. Um, so let me just show you, in its static condition, the contacts are closed. And when the pressure makes it up to 1.5 or whatever you have it set at, it'll open and not reclose until the pressure goes back down to 0.5 or whatever you have it set at. 